Redstone contraptions are useful. That's why I decided to show you 5 must have redstone builds everyone should know. Of course, in Minecraft. <laughs> let's go. So let's begin with the first one. A minecart unloader. I like to call these pickup systems just because they sound cooler. But yeah, it's basically a minecart unloader. Here are the items for this exact build. You can of course make it longer and bigger like this here as well. So the idea behind these builds is that for example if you build a bamboo farm on top, the bamboo will drop down in here like so, and the minecart will pick them up through the blocks and then stop here, drop all the items and continue its way to pick up some more items. Now let me show you how to build this exact build. Let's place 7 blocks one redstone torch below, some powered rails, place a block here on the opposite end, chest goes here and then a hopper right in there. Crouch or right click the chest so the hopper will connect, then a normal rail and a powered rail once again crouch to place it. Now place down a redstone comparator in here, block behind it, block on top and then a block up here. Here goes the redstone torch repeater, and that's basically the whole build. Once items go through this hopper, the power rail will turn off. And then of course, a minecart with a hopper, and a lever to turn it off manually, if you'd like to. Now the easiest build of this whole list, a dropper clock. And as you can see, once you place items inside, the dropper will just shoot them out. It's simple as that. If you use a dispenser instead, you can place arrows inside and shoot them out. Yeah, it's a nice trap as well. Once again, here are the items for this build. Now let's start by placing down a dispenser or a dropper. Place down a compator behind it, create a block, sticky piston, observer pointing towards the dispenser or a dropper, and then one observer in here. And once you place the items inside, it will just work. It's simple as that. If you want to see more dropper clocks, check the link in the description. And here's one of the most useful builds on this list. A item sorter. So let's place some items inside. And they will come inside their own separate chests. And the grass block we place will go in the overflow chest in here. Now let me show you how to build a cross section of this item sorter. If you want to see the full tutorial, check the link in the description. Let's place a chest. Two hoppers pointing towards the chest, then one hopper up here pointing in the direction you want the overflow chest to be in. Let's take three blocks, place them behind the hopper. Let's break some blocks so we can get below here. Let's place a comparator up here, some redstone dust. And then a repeater below here, block here, and more redstone dust. Let's place a block in front of the repeater, and one redstone torch. And now here's the tricky part, even though it's not actually tricky. You take out the item you want to sort, and then you need a filter item. You say item you will ever put inside his chest. You can also just rename them to make things easier. Let's place redstone dust and some filter blocks up here, and it should stop soon. As you can see, right there. Now if some redstone dust gets up here, it will go inside the chest, but the filter riders will still stay at the same count. Once again, if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial, check the link in the description. Sometimes you just want to impress your friends, and what's a better way to do it than a redstone door? It's a simple 2x2 redstone door, and it's so easy to make. Check this out. Here are the items for the redstone door. So let's start by placing down some pressure plates. Pick out some blocks, six blocks to be exact. Replace them with some blocks of your choice. Place the glass in here. Pressure plates on both sides. And then one block apart. Let's place a sticky piston on both sides, and then one on top of the sticky pistons. Now we have to go below the surface, 
So break out some blocks so you can fit down here. The same thing with this side. So basically, make a huge hole below the door. Place redstone below the pressure plates, both sides. To make a redstone line going in here. Same thing with this side. Add in here. Place a block here. Redstone torch. Block. And a redstone dust. Same thing on this side, block, torch, block, and dust. Now if you jump on top of the pressure plates, the doors will open. Same thing on this side. Now just fill up all of the holes, build up some walls, and here you have it, a simple 2x2 redstone door. Then lastly, one of the most useful redstone machines or builds you can ever make. A flying machine. They're super easy to make, Especially now with the new slime farm mechanics, getting slime has never been easier than it is right now. And yeah, here's the flying machine. On the opposite side here, we have a flying machine sender, which will send the flying machine back. And once it comes back here, it'll just stop as long as you flick the lever down here. Now let me show you how to build one of your own. You place blocks here like so. Break these ones. A redstone torch, and a lever, a redstone dust, a piston, and a repeater. The repeater goes here, set to four ticks. Now here's some redstone dust and a piston. And of course, this part is not necessary with the redstone torch, but because flying machines had to be built higher than they actually are, it's just easier to reach from the ground. Like in here, for example. Now take out the obsidian block or any immovable block you have, like a furnace for example, and place it in here. Right next to it, let's place a observer pointing towards the side you want the flying machine to send out to. Now up here on front of the observer, place a second one pointing up, and then a sticky piston in here, and a second one in here. Some slime blocks. Both sides. Let's place the observer pointing up from here. And once you flick the lever, it should send out the flying machine, as you can see. Of course, remember to build this side as well. It's the same exact thing as on that side. Just be sure that the piston part hits the obsidian. And that's a simple flying machine. And this flying machine will escape and go on forever, but. Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. Now these were the five must-have redstone builds everyone should know in Minecraft. Thanks for watching, my name is Kamen. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya! It's, it's still going, the flying machine.